Hey there, Cyber Explorers. Welcome back to our cybersecurity journey. In our last video, we delved into the basics of footprinting. If you missed it, no worries, you can always go back and catch up. Now, it's time for part two, reconnaissance and footprinting. We're about to dive deep into the strategies and tools cybersecurity experts use to gather info and assess a target's security. If you're keen to unravel the secrets of digital reconnaissance, you're in for a treat. Stick around and let's explore reconnaissance and footprinting together. Let's kick off by talking about people search on social networking sites. It's pretty easy to look for someone on these websites. Social networking services like Facebook or LinkedIn are platforms designed to help people connect based on shared interests, work locations, and education. Users provide details in their profiles, allowing them to connect directly or indirectly through different fields. These sites are like hubs for quick information sharing, where users can update details about events, announcements, and more in real time. The cool thing is, many of these sites let you search for people without needing to create an account, keeping it simple and anonymous. You can search for someone using their name, email, or address. Some sites even let you check if an account is active, giving you information about the person's status. Whether it's Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, or Instagram, you can find people using various criteria like name, keyword, company, or school. When you search on these sites, you'll get personal info like name, position, organization, location, and education. Plus, you can find professional details like company, location, phone number, email, photos, and videos. It's crucial to note that attackers can misuse information gathered through people searching on social networking sites for social engineering or other types of attacks. Now, let's explore people search services where public record websites offer details like email addresses, phone numbers, and house addresses. Services like Spokio, Intelius, Pipple, and others provide comprehensive information such as names, contact details, photos, videos, profession, family details, social media profiles, property data, and even optional criminal background checks. Attackers can misuse this data for acquiring sensitive information like bank details and credit card information. Many such online services exist for obtaining personal information. Let's delve into the people search service called Spokio. Spokio, a popular online people search service, can be exploited by attackers seeking information about individuals associated with the target organization. Through Spokio, attackers can access a plethora of details including phone numbers, email addresses, address history, age, date of birth, information about family members, social media profiles, and even court records. This comprehensive set of data poses a potential threat as attackers can leverage it for various malicious purposes. Now, let's delve into the tactics employed by attackers in gathering information from LinkedIn and harvesting email lists for potential malicious activities, utilizing the The Harvester tool. Beginning with LinkedIn, a prominent professional networking platform, attackers leverage the harvester to extract email addresses associated with the target domain. LinkedIn, known for its wealth of professional details like names, positions, affiliations, locations, and educational backgrounds, becomes a valuable resource for attackers executing social engineering and cyber attacks. The Harvester, designed for early-stage penetration tests, serves as a crucial tool for open-source intelligence gathering. Attackers specifically use it to enumerate LinkedIn profiles linked to a target organization. Now, let's shift focus to harvesting email lists. A critical attack vector in later hacking phases. Attackers employ automated tools like the Harvester and Email Spider to gather publicly available email addresses of target organization employees. These tools extract email lists related to a specified domain using search engines like Google, Bing, and Yahoo. The obtained email lists and usernames serve as ammunition for social engineering and brute force attacks on the target organization. For instance, the following command demonstrates email harvesting from the Yahoo search engine. The Harvester D, your target.com, L, 100, B, Yahoo. In this command, D specifies the domain for email harvesting, L limits results to 100, and B instructs the harvester to extract results from the Yahoo search engine. This process equips attackers with a potent arsenal for further malicious activities. Determining the operating system. In the realm of cybersecurity, attackers employ a range of online tools like Netcraft, Shodan, and Senzis to discern the operating system in use at the target organization. These tools scour the internet, identifying connected devices like routers, servers, and IoT devices associated with the target. 
This information serves as a critical foundation for attackers, aiding them in pinpointing potential vulnerabilities and identifying effective exploits. By leveraging this knowledge, attackers can execute various cyber attacks on the target organization. We won't revisit Netcraft as it was covered in our previous video. Now, let's shift our focus to Shodan and Senzis. Starting with Shodan. Shodan stands as a unique computer search engine, scouring the internet for connected devices such as routers, servers, and IoT devices. By leveraging Shodan, attackers can unveil which devices are currently connected to the internet, their geographical locations, and details about their users. This tool proves invaluable for attackers in monitoring all devices on the target network that are directly accessible from the internet. Shodan's capabilities extend to enabling attackers to pinpoint devices based on criteria like city, country, latitude, longitude, hostname, operating system, and IP address. Furthermore, it facilitates the search for known vulnerabilities and exploits across platforms like ExploitDB, Metasploit, CVE, OSVDB, and PacketStorm through a single interface. In the accompanying screenshot, you can witness attackers using Shodan to identify various target devices connected to the internet and the operating systems they employ. Moving on to Senzis. Senzis takes on the role of a vigilant monitor for infrastructure, identifying previously unknown assets across the vast expanse of the internet. This tool offers a comprehensive view of every server and device exposed to the online realm. Attackers leverage Senzis to scrutinize the target IT infrastructure, uncovering diverse devices connected to the internet and extracting details such as the operating system in use, IP addresses, protocols employed, and geographical locations. While there's more to cover on footprinting, I aim to keep this video concise. Let's delve into the demonstration of various footprinting tools. Many organizations offer tools that facilitate information gathering. This section describes the tools used to obtain information from various sources. Footprinting tools are used to collect basic information about target systems to exploit them. Information collected by footprinting tools includes the target's IP location, routing information, business information, address, phone number, social security number, details about the source of an email and a file, DNS information, and domain information. Before we dive into each tool, I want to tailor this content to your preferences. If you have a specific tool you're eager to learn about, let me know in the comments, and I'll create a dedicated video for it. Now, let's give you a quick overview. Let's start with Maltigo. Maltigo, an automated tool, unveils relationships and real-world links. Attackers use Maltigo to extract details like email addresses, phone numbers, and a target's internet infrastructure. The video showcases the process of adding a website entity, renaming it with the target's domain, and retrieving associated email addresses and phone numbers. As we conclude this first step on the exciting journey of becoming a hacker with footprinting and reconnaissance, we've equipped you with essential tools and insights. If you have any questions or need further clarification about footprinting and reconnaissance, drop them in the comments below. Stay tuned for our next video, where we'll unravel the second step on this fascinating path to becoming a hacker. Your curiosity is the key, and we're here to guide you every step of the way. Subscribe, hit the notification bell, and join us on this hacking adventure. Until next time, happy hacking! Today, it is my deepest honor to introduce to you Ninjoy. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Um, my name is Ninjoy, and if you don't mind, I'd like to play you a little something. Enjoy.